Well, Apple recently announced and is shipping the Apple TV. Is it going to take over your living room? We've got Jack Kapitza here from the Globe and Mail. Jack, how are you? Just peachy, thank you. Apple TV, is it uh, going to change the way we watch television? Uh, that's what Apple wants, but I don't think it's going to happen. At least it's not going to happen in Canada and not for a while yet, if it ever does. Problem is that it's got a couple of features on it that we just can't get. And obviously being the actual TV shows. <laughs> exactly. No, the, the, the gag is that this thing is supposed to be like um, uh, an iPod on, steer, on steroids, I guess you'd call it. Uh, you, you're, what you're supposed to be able to do with this box is to buy movies, which you download from iTunes, and buy TV shows. You know, you pay three bucks or whatever and you get an episode of uh, uh, whatever show you want to catch. Uh, and, and the problem is that, that, that you know, it, Apple had to strike deals with uh, Hollywood and, and the television industry uh, to pick up these kind of shows to, for sale, but the, uh, it only works for Americans. It doesn't work in Canada because we have, of course, different uh, distribution systems in Canada. Therefore, you can't get it. And so the two big features in Apple TV, forget it in Canada. <laughs> so not really worth it to get it uh, up here yet. Um, any idea, have they announced uh, when they're going to start uh, releasing these, uh, these TV shows and, and movies in, in Canada? In Canada? No, nope, not at all. I, you know, I mean, I don't even recall the last time Steve Jobs ever came to Canada, if he ever did. Uh, you know, and I'm not entirely sure how Apple's marketing works. I mean, as, as far as I've been concerned, Apple's always thought of Canada as being kind of an extension of the U.S. market, right? That we, ju we just do what they tell us to do kind of thing. Uh, you know, but somebody should have come up and told them that, you know, I mean, don't even bother marketing this thing in Canada because its two main features are not usable. Uh, but I don't think anybody can tell Steve Jobs anything. I certainly can't. Can you? Well, let's, talk, let's talk about those, uh, those features and you know Apple seems to always be on the cutting edge of technology and being able to recognize trends uh, you know for example the iPod but I guess basically what they're trying to do here is um, be able to take your movies and TV shows that you've downloaded into iTunes of course in the US right now and stream them to uh, that Apple TV box which has got a hard drive and hooked up to your television. Do you think we're going to yeah. see a lot of competitors getting into the space now to copy them? I, I don't know. It's, uh, that's going to take um, a while to find out. And my problem is that I think uh, it's not so easy to take your own home movies. I mean, a lot of people do have home movie cameras and so on, you know, and they download the stuff onto, uh, onto the hard disks. And yes, they can play them over, over their own TV sets, you know, but I mean, how much of that do you want? You know, seeing your own work that large, as far as I'm concerned, now, I might be just a very um, uh, sensitive guy, but I take a look at that and I say, gee, the production values suck, and, and therefore don't like to, to show my own movies anymore. But I mean, yes, if I download something from the internet, you know, that's something that doesn't have any uh, copyright attachment to it, digital rights management attached to it, then yes, I can play that. But uh, where am I supposed to get that kind of stuff? Well, I get it, um, what the Americans call illegally, but Canadians haven't decided yet. Do you think it's going to take off as fast as the iPod did, or are we going to look at a longer cycle for this? Much longer cycle. Um, I would, there's also another thing, too. Remember that, that what Apple is selling through iTunes on, um, uh, for Apple TV has been dictated by what Hollywood and Telly would uh, have, have put up for sale. It's not that much. You know, you can't just simply go back and say, gee, remember that Cary Grant movie from 1936? Let's download that one. You know, and no matter how much money you've got in your pocket, you won't be able to because, you know, they're not making that much money off very old movies, so why should they digitize them? Uh, what they're making big money off of is, is you know, the, the things with tremendous special effects, cars blowing up and so on and so forth. That kind of movie, the kind of hit and run stuff that makes so much money these days. Well, I guess only time will tell. Jack, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. That's Jack Kapitza from the Globe and Mail. You can check out more of his articles at globetechnology.com.